Well, we are taking a whole holistic approach, so it's time for us to focus in the kitchen. So, we've had classic fashion from Tindy, classic cars, thanks, Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover, timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Mm -hmm. Now, everyone loves a good bolognese, but if you are cutting down on your meat consumption or you're doing a meat-free Monday and you're looking for some inspiration, well, simply swap out your meat with some lentils. And the classic lentil bolognese we're about to make, it is packed with all of the nutritional goodness to assist you on those New Year health goals, especially if you have added eating well so that you can have more energy to be able to do more throughout the day. And it's very important <laughs> to make sure you've got those because the, the one thing I know is coming from the year, from the, the festive that we come from, we ate a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. And people right now are feeling sluggish and bloated. And this dish is perfect because we're supping out the meat for the lentils and lentils are high in dietary fiber, meaning that they're gonna obviously make you regular or help you get regular, <laughs> which will help with making you feel a lot lighter. See, I said, <laughs> Chef Tumi is here. She knows the brief, we're going the whole Whole holistic she approach. She understood the assignment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to start it off, I'm going to add a bit or a nice spoonful of our Clover Classic Fat Spread into our pan. And that's amazing because our Clover Classic Fat Spread, it is versatile to use as a spread. You can use it as bake or cooking like Chef Tumi is showing you right now. And even if you make a normal meat lasagna, in fact, not a lasagna, a bolognese, you can try adding in the lentils to give it that extra nutritional boost. I love that you've mentioned that because that also means that you stretch your dish a long way. So you make, uh, make the actual bolognese with the mince and then it later, just towards the end, add your lentils so that it cooks out and then you can even freeze that and that mixture would last you quite a while because you can even just put it in the freezer and eat it at a later stage. And it's also, especially if you've got a big family, yeah. I know it's January, a lot of <laughs> families are like, okay, how can we stretch the budget? Yeah. <laughs> so that's definitely a dish that you can include into your menu. Now, what we've done is I've added our onions into our pan. We're sauteing those, just want to get them nice and translucent. Also release the flavors from the onion. As it releases, all the flavors from the onion are gonna basically work together with the rest of the flavors here. I've also got some garlic that we've uh, basically ground up to a pulp into a little paste. We're adding that into flavors. Whenever you're cooking dishes like this, I always suggest to add stuff in layers. Okay. Start with the base and then uh, uh, basically add on as you go. And especially if you're doing a tomato base, yeah. there's something about having your onions, having a bit of garlic, yeah. starting with your, your herbs. And as you were saying about bulking up your dish, if you want to also bulk it up, at this stage you could add something that we call a, a, a mirepoix. You, you could add your onions, your celery and your carrot. Mm -hmm. So not only are you that bulking it up in the base, but then you can also add the lentils. So I promise you, this is a filling dish, but you can definitely stretch it as far as, you, as possible. I know we are busy making and focusing on a meat-free version, <laughs> but mince is one of those things I make in bulk yeah. because I, I freeze it into like perfect portions. So if you're obviously having a dinner party, you remove it's easier for me to rather take yeah. out four pouches than just having this one thing and then I'm forced to eat mince for four days. <laughs> That's such an important tip. And I do suggest that people do that because once you've made a dish like this, don't freeze it as one big dish. Do do that in portions because it also means that you're saving, you're, you're saving yourself in terms of wastage because you only use what you, what you need. All right, so let's just see our onions have sauteed up to the um, um, perfect pot that we want them. Exactly. We then add our tomato paste and our tomato sauce. And the reason I've got, um, I'm adding these first is we want it to cook down before we add the rest of our ingredients. We've got some sugar here. Before this, I added some of our thyme, our dried thyme, some salt and pepper. We add sugar to balance and take away that acidic flavor of the tomatoes in from the tomato paste and yeah. the tomato. Uh, so when you add your tomatoes, like you mm -hmm. just did, that is our canned tomatoes. Is it necessary to add tomato paste? What is why are you adding both? I always thought you always had to add the one or the other. Well, one stretches it because the tomato paste is more intense. Oh, okay. So you want that flavor there. But then the tomato, the crushed tomatoes basically help in giving you that sauce. Mm -hmm. You want that tomato-based sauce, so that's why you'd add the tomato um, um, in there. So you get the both, best of both. Yeah, if you don't have tomato, crushed tomatoes, even tomato sauce would work. It's just that it does have a bit more uh, sugar in there, so that's why we use the, the, the crushed tomatoes. And we're just gonna let this cook down for about 20 minutes and our dish is ready. There we go, Chef Tumi showing us how to make an alternative. This is our lentil bolognese, and if you wanna get your hands on this delicious recipe, it is available on our website. You can get it at expressoshow.com. And if you've missed any of the steps on how to make this delicious recipe, here they are again.
made with love by Clover. 